What's the definition of a man in Ukraine? When well, Russian, bankomat. <laughs> with a penis. <laughs> I'm sitting here with a blue man group member. <laughs> no. This guy, Jeffrey, is my guest today, and he has been successfully divorced to a beautiful Ukrainian woman twice with five kids, and uh, so that's why he is an expert on this, vi this video of the top nine reasons you should never marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman, especially if she's from Kiev or Odessa. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. For you live in Ukraine for how long now? Uh, about seven, a little, almost, we're approaching eight years. Uh, eight years, and basically you're fluent, I know. Uh, Semi-fluent Russian. Russian, yeah. uh, written, spoken. So, I mean, uh, and you've been married twice. You brought her back home, Yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, I've done the, I've done the tour the day America. Mm -hmm. um, you were 25 for the first marriage? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so you, you were a young buck, but you were successful. So money was not an issue. Uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was highly successful. In fact, mm -hmm. that probably led to the problem because <laughs> I, I, I was not used to failing at anything. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. and I thought that I could come to Ukraine, grab the beauty queen, come back home and show off Get my trophy. Done. Yeah, that's yeah. how I, I approached it like a business problem. And I just uh -huh. came in, came out, came back home. Uh -huh. Look at my new trophy wife. Uh -huh. Guys, we should listen to Jeffrey. I mean, he is really an authority on why you should never marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman. Um, top nine reasons. Reason number one was the definition of a man in Ukraine. When Russian, bankomat. <laughs> with a penis. <laughs> in other words, you're an ATM with a penis. Yep, yeah. that's right. You're walking down the street when what she hears is ching, ching, ching. Yeah, no, really, guys, it's really true. Uh, there's a, a joke amongst women in Ukraine. The definition of man is an ATM, or a bankomat, as they call, with a penis. Uh, let's talk about this point, because uh, you guys need to know that what are men's responsibilities in relationships? Fucking everything. That is the truth. <laughs> right, Jeff? Provide money, provide support, provide mental psychology, you know, everything, everything, everything. It just goes on and on and on and on, yes. Yeah, I mean, word. the truth is, they're expected to be beautiful and feminine. And you're expected to do everything else. Earn the money, take care of the family, uh, provide safety and security. Uh, and um, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, there's another joke, but that is, goes on to point number two. You were going to chime in? Well, I was going to say that um, it depends on what kind of girl you're getting, of course. But most girls, English speaking, the ones that you're most likely to run into, they're the ones I call the tigers, the aggressive ones. They're the ones out to get a foreigner. This is mostly what we're talking about. Because to be honest with you, in my experience, the good, good girl, the real wholesome girl, uh, she don't speak much English, and she will avoid foreigners at all costs. You're not likely to ever meet her to be honest with you. She's not going to marriage agencies. She's not hanging out to get a foreign bride or a foreign husband. And so that's where these stereotypes hit hard because you've got aggressive cougars, tigers, you know, out there to get that money. Um, it doesn't mean it's all girls in Ukraine, but certainly most likely the kind you're going to meet. Okay, point number two is a natural segue from point number one. Uh, tell me, Jeff, are Ukrainian women soft demeanored? Are they, are they soft-spoken? They have a pair of balls, yeah, to be frank. They, they, they are very beautiful in the exterior, uh, but it doesn't take much to get them past. They can be hard. They're used to guys always chasing after them, so yeah. they know how to push people off. Yeah, they're not uh, a pushover, and they got a pair of cojones on them when they want to. They can drink more than any man, so <laughs> good luck on that one. Uh, unless you got a real young one that doesn't have experience yet, but again, a lot of 19, 20 year olds have a lot of experience already. So you, uh, they uh, can be hot headed very easily, and, and, it's, and that's part of the culture clash too. But there's a phenomenon here that I've observed over the last seven years. Uh, Ukrainian women can just freak out. That's what I would call it. Just absolutely explosive go into hysterics. Hot can go into hysterics and just completely come unglued for sometimes the smallest reason because they hold it all in until they can't take it anymore and then blam! And the guys here are used to it. They just say, ah, don't worry about it. Yeah. They just let it roll off. But that's not usually our nature from Western society when we encounter that. And uh, you're spot on. And this is a huge tip, guys. You, you got to be, you know, a rock with a Ukrainian <laughs> woman. They look for the man to be a rock. And Ukrainian men are rocks, meaning uh, they can, you know, fly off the handle, get 
you know, uh, hot headed, flying off the handle, um, and you're expected to just be the fucking rock. You know, take don't it. over. You have to take the take use, it. really. Take it like a man. Don't uh, don't react. Don't add fuel to the fire. Let's have a, a segue here for a second. The reason we're ragging on Kiev or Odessa, why? Because. You know, Glam Girls, it's the headquarters of Glam Girls. Stay the fuck away from Odessa because they're just going to eat you up and spit you out. And Kiev, well, you know, they just have a lot of option and they tend to be spoiled. If you want uh, good quality, beautiful Ukrainian ladies, you're better off to go into the smaller cities or maybe even villages. In fact, uh, I have a joke with a friend who lives in, in Kiev that, you know, I'm going to have to go deep village to find my girls because, you know, <laughs> finding traditional girls that are traditional and uh, they like to cook still, you know, it's a fallacy. It's a myth that Ukrainian women love to cook, cook because not so much anymore. Yeah, right? it's, it's getting less and less. I mean, less certainly less. girls coming from villages who haven't yet been spoiled with big city life are going to be more likely to meet that goal. But it all comes down to their parents and their parenting. Uh, now, my uh, first wife couldn't cook at all. Uh, and, and you could tell that by how thin she was. My second wife, uh, she could cook very, very well. Um, but uh, she had training from her family and from her mother uh, and her grandmother. And... Uh, it's pretty rare, uh, more rare than you expect. Um, Odessa girls, they have a bad rap for a good reason. Uh, they're very, uh, they're sharks. Uh, it's not that big of a city compared to Kiev, and there's a lot of girls there just out for the hunt. To and get you them. live in Odessa. Yeah. So yeah. he should know. They're out for the hunt. They're out to get you uh, for money. Um, and girls there are not like in other parts of Ukraine, okay? Odessa is a seaport city. Uh, and so a lot of the Ukrainian men there actually learn English and they get jobs in the Navy, uh, not military, but, uh, you know, a, a private Marine. And that pays extremely well. So they have American almost like salaries. So therefore, the standard is way, way up compared to other parts of Ukraine. So girls there are used to be able to get a Ukrainian guy. They can buy a flat. They can get a car after a few years. You can't impress them so easily with money. You understand? So they... It's expected. Yeah. So there, you're got to, your bar is way up, way up over even Kiev, actually. Yeah, yeah. So uh, without further ado, the third reason why you never want to marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman from Kiev or Odessa or from anywhere in Ukraine really is Ukrainians, do they have a sense of humor, Jeff? <laughs> if you learn Russian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, so in all fairness, okay, they do have a sense of humor. It's just radically different from our more uh, laid back um, slapstick type humor. They look at what we what we think is jokes is incredibly naive. Stupid. Well, okay, that's a nice way to put it. Stupid. They, they think we're they just think clowns. We're stupid. They think we're clowns because they, they look yeah. at our humor as just being too simple, too yeah. To, uh, childlike. Yeah, theirs is politically based, it's uh, culturally based, like it's, it's more sophisticated as they view it. Wordplay. Yeah, wordplay. It's more sophisticated humor. Ours is just, I mean, you know, it's, it's stupid. Uh, they don't find it humorous. So there is, there is a mismatch when it comes to humor in this relationship. So just be aware of that and you need to do your best to try to have humor together because... Uh, I, I, I've had plenty of sit dates and situations uh, meeting girls where I was being funny and they laughed at me. I, yeah, I said that right. They were laughing at me, not with me. The blue hair, maybe? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that certainly doesn't help any, right? Um, but th they would laugh at me and I didn't realize. I thought they were laughing with me. But they, they, and they would tell me, oh, you're so cute, you're so funny. But for them, it was like, you know when you invite a clown to a party. Okay? Uh -huh. So they're laughing at you, not with you. Yeah, and it, uh. especially if you're trying to use Russian and you do it very badly, you know, that's going to give humor. But they'll at least appreciate that far more than they will if it's uh, usual American humor, for example. Hey guys, we're going to be back with the fourth uh, through the ninth reason why you never want to marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman, especially from Kiev or Odessa, in just a moment. So click on the video link in the description below this video to see the fourth reason through to the ninth reason. See you guys soon.